Good morning. It is the dawn of day 10 on the Appalachian Trail. And as you can see, I'm not technically on the trail. I am taking a zero day today in the Days Inn in Carlisle. It's a trucker stop and it was an interesting evening. But today is going to be a little bittersweet for me because it's the very first time in the last 10 days that I'm going to be completely alone. So on Friday, Kimmy and Ellie headed home to Michigan and Em and I ended up hanging out in Boiling Springs for a while and then we got a hotel so that we could recuperate from a couple of long days and then uh, we stayed last night and Em just headed back to trail this morning. She didn't want to take an extra zero so at this point I think I needed to just for um, longevity's sake and so I made the decision to stay and she continued down trail so we definitely hope to meet up as we go along. So I am going to use today to catch up on YouTube videos. I'm going to finish editing and get everything that I have recorded to date programmed and ready to go out to you guys. I am going to probably take a nap at some point today and I plan on eating at the famous, let me show you here. Waffle House, which is in our backyard here at the hotel, so I have a little patio that I'm on. <laughs> Let me show you. Let me just show you, and you can give your opinions. They are in the process of remodeling this hotel. Uh, our room is halfway finished, so it is what it is. We got what we paid for. This is the mural that's in our bedroom, our hotel room, here in Carlisle. I just thought that was really beautiful. I wanted to share it with you. Especially that sunshine peeking out right there. So the rest of the hotel room, uh, they are remodeling. And it's very simple. Trim is still to be put up around doors. There's not really anywhere to hang anything, but it sufficed for what we needed it for, some rest and recovery. And it does have sliding glass door that does not lock, so my trekking poles are keeping me a bit safe. <laughs> For those of you who are following my channel, um, because I tend to eat a carnivore lifestyle, it has been challenging on trail. I will be completely honest with you. Um, from like, for example, this morning here, breakfast at the hotel, there was very little that I could eat. There was coffee, <laughs> which isn't carnivore for some people, but for me it is. Um, there was real butter, so I was able to take several butter pats and add that to my coffee, mix it up, and got um, my fats in that way. I also had a couple of um, little bitty peanut butter packets that I brought back to the room for later. Um, but that was literally it. So I ended up eating some yogurt, which was sweetened. It was it had fruit in it and <clears throat> uh, it wasn't plain Greek yogurt like I would normally eat if I was to eat yogurt. So that's about all I could consume from the breakfast here this morning. They had waffles and cereal and oatmeal, and uh, it just wasn't very um, substantial for me. So we'll go over to Waffle House later, and I will order a good lunch. We'll talk then. Ellie, you are a strong, inspirational amazing young woman and I'm very proud of you and wanted to thank you for joining me on this adventure. Kimmy, you will always and forever be one of my very best friends and I thank you for your love and your support. Thank you for coming along. Thank you for joining me and for bringing your niece. It's been great. <clears throat> well, here's something different. I was sitting here and a bird came and landed under my chair and then proceeded to fly into my room. And he's now <laughs> just flew out of the room. He was sitting on my pillow. Oh, yay, yay. 
just enjoying some time in my backyard and it's getting pretty gray I think I'm glad I'm not on trail tonight I think we're gonna get some weather so I just had some news that saddened me my friend bluebird whom you've met in some previous videos texted me that going through the fields uh, north of boiling springs there's a lot of little ladders that get you up and over a fence i'll show you i'll put a picture in here and she she was having knee pain the last couple of days hiking but she was going down one of these and she hurt her knee and had to get off trail so i'm so sad she was going to be doing the entire state of pennsylvania so at this point she's off trail and are going to be recovering so i wish you speedy recovery and definitely hope we get to meet up in the future either on trail or off so take care bluebird Definitely glad I am not on trail tonight. For those of you who might like to dig a little bit deeper and get to know me a little bit more, I've designed a membership called Campfire Calls. It's a donation-based membership. You simply click in the link in the comments section or in the description of this video, and you will get to join me around 8 to 10 campfires along the Appalachian Trail as I journey from Harpers Ferry to Katahdin in Maine, and then back from Harpers Ferry to Georgia. And You'll just get to be able to connect with me on a Zoom call and chat, ask questions, and find out more about how the hike is going. So if you'd like to join me, be sure to click the link in the description or in the comment section of this video. Thank you, God bless, and see you next time.